One of the most iconic companies in history is Coca-Cola, one of the world's biggest brands with an unmistakable logo. Just by looking at its silhouette, you know what it is, and the exquisite effervescence immediately comes to mind. That's why today, we're going to explain the timeless value of the Coca-Cola logo. So, get comfortable and let's begin this journey. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our design explorations. Now, let's dive in! John Pemberton began building his company in 1886 by patenting a beverage originally intended to relieve digestive pain. However, this creation would eventually mark the beginning of a new era in the beverage industry, ushering in the era of cola. With this product in hand and observing its growing popularity, Pemberton decided it was time to give the brand an identity. At the time, however, developing a brand identity was a challenge, because the marketing industry was non-existent and guidance was scarce. Faced with this situation, John turned to the one person he could trust, his accountant, Frank M. Robinson. He suggested keeping the brand's identity simple and understandable. Based on this advice, they created a name using words that described the brew, the coca leaf, and the carbonation process, nicknamed cola. Thus began the birth of an industry. About a year later, around 1887, the logo was created. A typographic tradition began with the development of a simple and basic logo consisting of black letters representing the company. Although this logo did not resemble today's design, preserving its simple essence proved crucial. Unlike many brands that overloaded themselves with information, Coca-Cola chose a name and logo that served as its own advertisement and brand, setting a precedent in the design world. In the same year, they decided to make some changes to the logo, as it was not only the name that needed to be changed, but also the details. At the time, there was a very interesting trend, the use of the Spencerian font for the lettering, a font that tried to give curves to the letters and find a more harmonious way of expressing them. I think the key word here is harmony, but at the same time, they wanted to maintain the simplicity and strength that they were already pursuing. That's how, without realizing it, by capitalizing letters, spacing them, and using black to eliminate rigidity and create a more handwritten feel, something common today, they laid the typographic foundations that, interestingly enough, strongly influence the world of design today, always striving for simplicity while maintaining identity. Not only that, but they created a connection with the viewer, their consumer, by having a logo that was not only in tune with the times, but also more human. Unconsciously, as mentioned earlier, they built foundations that are now essential to the success of a company. This is the level of importance that your logo holds. With that understanding, we now know a little more about why the Coca-Cola logo has a timeless value. Coca-Cola laid the groundwork for timeless logos. It is the father of the concept. They began to refine the design gradually, experimenting with better ways to visualize it, including some unsuccessful experiments. One such experiment was a series of changes made from 1890 to 1891, which included the additions to diamonds and some spiral shapes in the sea. However, these changes did not work well and took away the essence of the product. Despite the setbacks, they continued to experiment, not yet knowing the perfect way to maintain their logo. Shortly after discarding these changes, they added something much more crucial to the formula. The use of the color red, inspired by Robinson, and the syrup barrels and the extravagant way that color shone against the white. The addition of the word trademark to the first letter C in 1903 marked a milestone in the legal protection of the brand. In the mid-1920s, the word drink was added to the logo in many posters and advertisements, solidifying the branch's presence. These changes had an impact on people, creating the first subliminal advertising for the product. Although it may be surprising, this approach to influence is another equally important part of the company's brand. In 1941, the logo underwent a stylization that brought it much closer to its current form. The proportions of the letters were balanced, and the design became more harmonious, a step closer to the perfect technique of advertising. The 1950s brought the placement of the logo within a red circle, and the introduction of the famous Coca-Cola bottle as an integral part of the design. The iconic fishtail logo, introduced in 1958, added a distinctive touch that became popular in stores and restaurants. 
In late 1969, however, Coca-Cola introduced a new logo with the art and square element, a red square with the classic logo and the wave or dynamic ribbon. This design was widely used, replacing the word drink with enjoy. In 1985, a drastic change marked the brand's history with the introduction of new Coke and the temporary removal of the classic logo. This is where we need to pause, as it is at this moment that the company understood the importance of its logo and its identity. From this point on, they made the first masterstroke to confirm how impactful and important the product was to society. They reverted to the original recipe and added the word classic, which was a resounding financial success. From here, the company began to play intelligently with this understanding. Throughout the following decades, adjustments and adaptations were made to the logo, from the incorporation of the letter R in a circle in 1991 to the return of the circular logo in 1993, with an addition of the word forever. In 2002, a more nuanced ribbon graphic was introduced followed by various versions evoking the nostalgia of the 1941 logo and the simplification of the red disc in 2007. The timeless graphological design of the Coca-Cola logo, based on Spencerian calligraphy, illustrates how careful choices can create a lasting visual identity. Consistency and resistance to passing trends are key tricks to achieving graphological design that sticks in the collective memory and remains relevant over time. This set a precedent not only for consumers, but also for how we perceive companies. After that, everyone began to replicate the model, each in their own way, from the Pepsi logo to brands outside the realm, such as McDonald's, which has survived to this day solely through the use of color and style. And it's not just about creating a globally significant beverage. It's about building a brand that's transformative and precedent-setting. Coca-Cola is a clear example of what a company can become by staying true to its roots and not getting stuck in the past. If you enjoyed exploring the Coca-Cola logo, then share your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you want to stay updated on all things design, click the bell icon to receive notifications. Until next time, keep appreciating the beauty of design, and we'll catch you in the next video.